Hi, Gemma. Good to hear from you. How are you? It is very frustrating that the IELTS centres are still closed. However, check out um, IELTS Indicator. Ben and I have just done a podcast on this. It just came out yesterday. Uh, this is a new exam from IELTS, this, exactly the same as IELTS, but um, it is good if you are applying for university. If you want uh, em immigration, it is no good. Uh, so I don't know what your purpose is. If your purpose is to study somewhere, uh, a university or higher education, it is good. It is happening now. You can take it at home. So check out IELTSindicator.com if you think this might be useful for you. Uh, I have quite a few students taking this test on the 17th of June. It is only available while the centres are closed. Uh, that may be helpful for you. Okay, now there's a few people take their family with them abroad when they go on a business trip. This is a positive or negative development. To what extent do you support this? Okay. In the last decade, the business trip has grown in importance. Uh, I think you need as. Once what used to be a quick and lonely travel nowadays could take weeks or sometimes months. Yes. As a result, more and more people are taking their families. Now, who are these people? Okay. Corporate professionals. Yeah, let's get in rather than people. Let's have some actual real vocabulary. Are taking their families too. In my point of view, now, I would actually say, in my point of view, it, either in my view, okay, or from my point of view. Either in my view or from my, my point of view. This is a step forward to society. However, now here you should say for society. However, this move should not be widely used. Good. This essay will discuss both sides. Lovely. Okay. Uh, now, I don't know where you are. Maybe you're in France. Maybe you're in Spain. Not sure. Use an example from where you are. Okay. It makes the essay more real. Okay. On one hand, comma, taking ing, the family, on a trip together. Watch out, prepositions. To get, is often a good strategy. The central reason behind this is that is behind behind this careful behind this is that firstly that's just the correction there behind this is that comma firstly so you don't need that comma the times the time Let's just simplify this. The time spent together will create a strong bond. I'm going to just speak it to you, okay? Uh, the time spent together will create or would create a strong bond, B-O-N-D, uh, allowing for or maybe sharing new experiences and discovering new places. So you just need to change that grammar a bit. Sharing new experiences and discovering new places. Secondly, the dedication to the company and work could be higher. We don't know about this would. Uh, we don't know if it will. Could be higher. For instance, uh, why? Why? Because they're happier, they're more relaxed, they're less lonely. For instance, recent research from the UK shows that 55% of stable and happy marriages tend, watch out the verb ending, tend to produce 75% more for their companies. Oh, okay. And happily married workers. So it's not the marriage giving the money to the company, it's the workers. So ha happily married employees tend to produce 75% for, for their companies. Therefore, allowing and supporting the employee or the professionals, the, the families, could benefit or might benefit. Okay, so really nice paragraph there, but just have a very careful listen to the corrections because we could get it into an even better paragraph. Okay, on the other hand, depending on the size of the family or the length of the trip or even destination, um, such inclusiveness could or may, these verbs are really important, inhibit. Uh, the business, the business uh, tasks, or cause uncomfortable, uncomfortable 
issues within the family, not inside of, within the family. And um, such dangers, maybe, or such problems cannot be overstated. You need a subject in there. The destination of the trip could so watch out for, i don't like will and can you 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 know this now watch out for this would could might limit the options for schools in case the family has children for example only one for example the construction of a new hydro power could be um in an uninhabitable is the word you want place or in a small town with no infrastructure likewise the length of the trip could also affect children's schools yes schools and exams maybe consistent with this line of thinking is that clearly adverb is that clearly all points don't do that then that comes before that clearly all points should be carefully developed studied sorry by the employee before taking the family piss over yes good very nice really clear the examples and given I finally believe that this step now yes conclusion so this step so tell me what this is that um, traveling uh, for work purposes you need to kind of repeat it again but differently, work purposes um, and being accompanied by loved ones could offer benefits. Yeah. So you, what you need to do here is just like kind of paraphrase the main idea again, or your main point again, um, offer. Uh, uh, mental health and stability, marriage stability benefits, or maybe not uh, mental health, maybe offer uh, performance benefits. Uh, nevertheless, uh, may, I wouldn't rather would not, I would go should not, because you're making a recommendation. So look carefully at these modal verbs i'm using a lot of modal verbs this is suitable for academic writing but that is a nice essay well done you've absolutely understood it the task achievement really good there uh nice writing uh really really nice writing so letter of complaint here we go i like these letters they're quite fun uh now word count here how are we doing yeah okay we can go a little bit longer maybe if you have time this is madam yours faithfully okay small f uh, I write to inform you about a terrible situation I went through last Saturday. Now, past simple because it is finished time. I went through, I experienced last Saturday at lunchtime. My wife and I ordered, again, same thing, past simple, two focaccia, cheese to start and two carbonara. However, the focaccia was said cold and the cheese was, okay, the cheese smelled strange. Um smelled strange you could have as if it was uh, out of date give me a little bit more as expected comma I complained watch out your tenses here what's going on I complained to the waitress who she's a person who took the starters to the kitchen and only brought them back after the main dishes arrived unfortunately the main dishes um, also presented a problem they were spicy i have never seen now here you need the present perfect i've never seen my entire life carbonara <laughs> okay uh life sorry carbonara with a sauce now that is the source of water this is sauce like ketchup a sauce of red Again, I can explain the problem, showing the ingredients on the menu, and there was not curry in there. After all, this is an Italian restaurant, you can have an exclamation mark there. Okay, therefore, I'd like to receive a full refund. Uh, this should be done. 
uh, should be done in the next five business days. I've attached a copy of my receipt and also my account details. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay. Okay. Well done. All right. Now, watch out with these letters. Okay. Yes, they are relatively straightforward, like not complicated, but you must not make mistakes. Okay. You want to get a good mark in this exam. Give this one time and attention as well. Okay, really watch out for your tenses because those are present perfect past simple is our basic mistakes. You must get that right. Here, a relative pronoun who for a person. Okay, now the examiner would expect you to get that right. Check it carefully. Okay, you check it carefully through and then you won't make that mistake again. Okay, well done. Good work on especially task two. Really nice. Thank you.